से पार्ट बी डिस्कस वेदर एंड इंक्रीज इन द नेशनल इनकम ऑफ अ कंट्री इज अ रिलायबल इंडिकेशन ऑफ एन इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग फॉर द पीपल इन दैट कंट्री वैसे फनी थिंग इज तो इसमें पार्ट ए से क्या लिंक है नाइस यार नहीं है नहीं बिल्कुल ही बिल्कुल ही सेगमेंटेड क्वेश्चन दिया है तो बेसिकली इंक्रीज इन नेशनल इनकम यू नो इज बेसिकली एक्चुअल ग्रोथ एंड देर आस्किंग वेदर नॉट इज अ रिलायबल इंडिकेशन ऑफ एन इम्प्रूवमेंट इन द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग फॉर द पीपल वेद द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग रेफर्स मेनली टू योर यू नो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑल के वो दूसरे फैक्टर्स जो हम बात करते हैं सो फॉर लाइक हाफ द क्वेश्चन यू बी लाइक हाँ इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट Uh, because it is part of all those indices for the rest of the question you will be like nahi but it is a day but this is important and that is important all of that that blah 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 and then you will conclude i'd also add ke national income mein increase aaya kis tarah chhota sa like a small a few lines hmm hmm usme to we can add that in a conclusion or we can add that when you're talking about national income increase uh, how should we start though yeah we know i'm telling you define uh, the, the more more of explain rather explain national income say so, yeah. so what is your national income uh, is basically your gdp right so it's the monetary value of goods and goods and services produced in the economy uh, by factors of production you know based within the economy um In period of time, in a given period of time, yes. So we're not going to write the definition, but you start off with explaining that. And again, so for all intents and purposes, you can say national income, you can say GDP, you can say aggregate expenditure. It's you know, assuming all three methods of measuring national income that are output, expenditure, uh, and income methods. Assuming all of these give you the same value, which theoretically they should. all of your aggregate expenditure your gdp all of this these things can be used interchangeably they, they should all give, be the same so then you can to further explain mai matlab aggregate expenditure likhu mai national income likhu should be the same thing ki how this is made up of c plus i plus g plus x minus m so spending investment expenditure government expenditure uh, and net exports and you have one one line explaining what each of the this stuff is right you can also and you can also basically link this to how this is a form of economic growth um understand economic growth is of can be of two types it could be growth in potential or it, even but it could also be growth in actual which is although that's not as widely referred to as economic growth normally we mean potential but you can still call actual growth to be economic growth and actual growth is the increase in you know like gdp national income stuff of that sort so you let the examiner know ke ha national income hai kya and now you need to discuss whether an increase in national income is a reliable indication of an improvement in the standard of living for the people in that uh, country so should we go on to talk about standard of living should we go on to talk about economic growth versus economic development kya scene uh, so what happens when the national income increases okay so na- national income increases should should okay like um we could talk about how some people consider real gdp per capita as an indicator We'll start off के वो क्यों करते हैं उसके बाद there's a difference between growth and actual development and फिर बाकी सारे indicators पहले ये तो बताओ कि how is like why is national income का increase an indicator okay let's फिर बोल रहा हूँ real 
ओके ओके चिल 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 सही है नेशनल इनकम इंक्रीज होती है um now you need to talk about uh why some people would believe that you know it is an indicator of standard of of increase but say before we go into this should we explain what we mean by when we say standard of living or should that come more mainly in our conclusion towards the end <clears throat> i end mein aana chahiye so and, and the reason okay so end mein aana chahiye um say so like then then you then you you retain uh, uh jab tum na like indicators mein in depth jaoge na like you're starting with this right now and then you're going to talk about more ind- indicators so us gradual change mein tum explain karoge ki standard of living is a very kind of subjective term or like it depends on the or kis tarah karte hain hmm hmm and then we, then we can conclude with it ki ha chalo growth might be one thing but development might be another and development looks at standard of living growth looks at just gdp so yeah so we can do that so in uh, increase in national income how is that an indicator again uh, the some reasons why you would say it's an indicator of standard of living is because the idea here is that households um key income should take i mean income should increase the idea here is with growth and all your output of the economy is increasing um so you're enjoying like more products you're enjoying greater choice for example households ka apni ki apni income is increasing so which should i- indicate a higher standard of living um with regards to economy tha with the increase employment output there is always going to be increased employment again we're talking about actual growth here so basically all those benefits of increased aggregate demand basically and if there's increased employment especially the employment of labor if the that should reduce your unemployment which helps with regards to wages go up you know people have and hence people have a better standard of living and so on um this is especially true like you know if brought about although i i believe the type of change in national income mainly the bulk of it we can say for a conclusion but right here if it's brought about you know by an increase in let's say spending so that again is an indication that look people have more money they're like willing to spend spend more they can you know uh, uh you know like I, 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 how do we say this enjoy consumption of a lot of goods so that yes that is a pretty good indication um either he is he thor se agar hum criticism kare uh just you could say ke if national income increases are brought about however um do, should we bring in real and uh, per capita either he either he discuss kar lete hain pehle tum apna wala point bata do phir batao ke like this is not adjusted to inflation and all like so yeah so yeah so okay they so like the benefits so i've i've listed and we've discussed them a bit so yeah uh, and just continuing from this point you know ke depends on what the increase in national income was about like or or what factor brought about that increase so yeah so if it was consumption is higher that indicates that yes people have more money and they can they're enjoying more goods and services however if it's brought about by an increase in let's say exports that might not necess- that and in red i'm writing about what necessarily does not indicate it's a good indicate uh, what the what does not necessarily indicate an increase in living standards agar exports zyada hain to does it necessarily mean living standards zyada hain because a lot of your goods and services aren't available for local consumption they're being shipped off right uh, so that's something that might not be a good in- indicator um is and 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 the same can be said for if imports decrease uh, a lot of the western economies have high uh, uh, import expenditure because when you increase imports only then do you, do consumers have wide choice and high quality products available to them if net exports are increasing hence your imports are decreasing so per shayad uh, uh, it's actually it, it, it shayad it might mean your na- standard of living kam ho raha hai rather than badh raha hai um that's one thing depends on like uh, again if it's investment increasing that might mean increased standard of living in the future but what you're doing now you're uh foregoing current consumption 
um, because now you're you're choosing to produce more of capital goods like wo jo basic as diagram bhi jo banate the about you know capital goods and consumer goods and basically what what you're doing instead of being here you're choosing to be here so that will shift your ppc in the long run and blah 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 but as, as of now you've foregone a bit of those consumer goods which are uh, add or increase your national your standard of living so if that's the case not too good it also depends on you know what the government expenditure is on if it's on stuff like um what some indices call regrettables uh, if it's on stuff like let's say the the the, the um defense defense world yeah so like if pakistan's basically just spent a lot on building 10 different new um military bases or has, is 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 spending more on producing uh, ammunition and stuff of that sort that really is going is that's going to increase your national income but that really won't help the, your average uh, person a person to live better right so you can criticize national income increases in that way how so you told how they are, could be a good indication how they could not be and the third thing you can write with link to this is that uh kya depends on whether or not this is well for one real that is if it's been adjusted for um inflation so you could have a nominal increase in natural income but if it isn't a real increase then it wouldn't be that good of an indication if it is a real increase on the other hand it might be a decent amount a decent indication then you want per capita which is where you basically divided by the entire population not just the labor force but the, just, just the entire population um and this is important because countries different countries have different levels of population um sweden for example would